I'm Kevin Flager, I work at the Harry Pogues Institute of Medical Research and the University of Western Australia, as well as Dimerics. I'm a molecular pharmacologist interested in developing medicines with fewer side effects, particularly for G-protein couple receptors, but also a range of other uh, receptor targets. So we've worked uh, particularly with BMG and Promega to develop uh, BRET systems, so that's bioluminescence resonance energy transfer. We've just published in Nature Methods on a new binding assay using the nanobret system to look at ligand binding, where we've put the nanoluc on the N-terminus and used a fluorescently labelled ligand to look at that in a competition binding mode. So we've used bioluminescence resonance energy transfer and we've used the Claristar and the Ferrostar instruments to look at those. The great thing about the Claristar is that it has the linear variable filter and as a filter-based monochromator system rather than diffraction grating, we can use that to look at the sensitive luminescence assays we need to look at. The Ferrostar is a very high-end instrument. It's very good for high throughput screening and it's the, the most sensitive instrument I've tested for Brett. We use the technology for ligand binding, but also protein-protein interactions, so looking at arrested interactions, but also internalization is a new assay we're develop, developing at the moment. In the future, we're developing new systems where we're using different fluorophores of different colors, and the advantage of the Claristar is we can develop those assays without having to buy a whole series of, of different filters.